absolutely gorgeous as well. Check this out. I haven't used this one yet. Look at those shades and the little stars. The detail is just so adorable. These shades are called Glimmer, Stardust, Universe, Shooting Star, Radiant, and Cosmic. Cosmic, Cosmic, Cosmic. Nice shot of the ring light and my setup. How cool is that? So I got that whole palette. And then I also received this Man Eater eyeshadow palette. I like eyeshadows because I do wear a lot of eyeshadows. So this one is pretty, pretty cute. Let's see if I can get it out of the packaging. Absolutely. 
is amazing. It is actually relatively lightweight and it does not get all caked looking. Um, there's a reason this is like the number one seller. So highly rated. Look at that cute little detail on the rim. Just really pretty. I really like it a lot. It's so nice. So this is another favorite. And then my boyfriend's mom got me this. Um, this is Drip Glass. Drip Glass by Morph. Morph, Morph, Morph Drip Glass. Lip Gloss. So pretty. It's such a pretty shade. Kind of sheer. It doesn't really have a lot of um, pigment. But it's so pretty. And she got this. This is by Provence in the shade Pink Rosé Lip Oil. Lip Oil. In the shade Pink Rosé. Now this has kind of a, a little bit of a peachy look to it. And it's, you can't hardly tell, but it is very oily. It is not one of those lip oils that is super sticky. It is not sticky. Um, it is an oil base, um, and it's really, really sweet. It just gives your lips this beautiful shine, so it's really nice. I like it. And then I got myself some foundation. Now, I tried this on at Sephora. I got color matched, and I went in there, and when they told me how much it was, I about fell over, which... I shouldn't be surprised that's how much makeup is, but I'm used to buying like drugstore brands like Maybelline or um, Elf or, you know, that kind of thing. And so when I got it, I was like, you know, like almost like Charlotte Tilbury expensive, you know, and I think Charlotte Tilbury is expensive, but um, so this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear stay in place makeup and it's such a small bottle it's not like you're getting a whole thing and it's like $50 USD but um really nice I'm wearing this on my face right now and I really like it it's got a really good coverage but it doesn't feel super cakey and makeup-y and I love that about it super um, cakey or like you're wearing a lot of makeup but it does have pretty good coverage so it's really good really good really good I do like it so that is one of my favorites and this apparently was a free gift it's a nutritious melting soft cream mask by Estee Lauder. And let me open that up so I can show you. I have never used this. It says apply AM and PM as a weekly mask. Apply thin layer for five minutes and then tissue off. and 
stylishly seductive. It'll have you falling in love at first bite. <laughs> this cocoa powder infused palette features 18 ultra creamy, rich and chocolatey shades and pops of deliciously bold candy color, velvety mattes, sugary shimmers, and melted metallics all work together in countless combinations to create the most naturally decadent looks you have ever experienced. And then it's in French. And I really need to work on my French. I kid you not, my absolute favorite ASMR creator on YouTube is Ocean. And Ocean's ASMR. Hi Ocean, you're probably never going to see this video, but she speaks some French. And I love watching her French role plays because I took several um, years of French in high school and then I never used it. And so I tried picking it back up, but I have no one to speak it to. So I do really enjoy her French role plays and really want to start working on my French again. I have a couple of um, language apps that I'm going to get into this year. Now my boyfriend took French in high school as well, but he does not speak it at all. <laughs> So anyway, regalez-vous avec cette palette. I can't read because I need glasses. <laughs> I need reading glasses. Des for paupières. Oh, I cannot even. I can't even make it out. Something anxieux, délicieusement sarcastique et hautement. I can't read. I literally cannot read it. It's just. I can't even make out the words, but anyway, let me show off the palette. This, look at that, looks like a chocolate bar. And check it out. These shades are just adorable. Like when I tell you the shades, you're gonna love it. Milk It, Buttercream, Gold Digger, Skinny Dipped, Ooey Gooey, that's like one of my favorites. Midnight Snack, and this is like a really deep purple, the midnight snack. And then we have Bite Me, <laughs> Cake My Day, Sugar Rush. This is that purple shade right there. I have used this. I love it. Oh my god, let me see. You, you can't really even see it. It's like iridescent. It's just really pretty. Then there's I'm the Dessert. see the 
this shades right here. I'm going to name them all. So here we have powdered sugar, breakfast in bed. That breakfast in bed is this one right here. Look how gorgeous. So shimmery, sparkly, flapjack, fork. Yeah, that's this kind of silvery shimmer at the top right here. Then we have blueberry jam, maple syrup, another favorite, brunch bubbles, and I love this because it's like champagne colored. Then we have hazelnuts, side of fruit, which is kind of reminiscent of a kiwi fruit shade, sleeping in, so side of fruit, sleeping in, so cute, get sticky, that's a beautiful brown shade. Surf Hot, that is this very rich red shade here. And then Short Stack, Cup of Joe. Look at this. Look at the shimmer on that. Dark and black and beautiful, rich. Morning Matcha, Kiss My Griddle. I love this one. Kiss My Griddle. You can tell that's the matcha. Then A La Mode, another favorite. Look at that beautiful purple color. And the last one is Hoot. Love how the mirror has this adorable little fork of pancakes. And you do get like the smell of the um, maple syrup. Maple syrup. So it's so beautiful. So beautiful. I really love it. So this is another favorite of mine that I've been using a lot lately um, since I got that for myself kind of for Christmas. And then um, one of my favorite presents that I got this year is a countertop espresso maker. And I love making these espresso drink coffees in the morning. And I have previously had a Keurig machine that was called the Keurig Cafe or something like that. Anyway, it was a Keurig machine that you could make shots of coffee. It was similar to espresso, but not exactly the same. You could um, froth milk. It had a milk frothing thingy on the side, and when you were done making your coffee, you would just put the milk in there, press a button, and it would froth the milk for you. And you could have um, like a cafe, um, like a cappuccino style, which was less milk, and then a latte, which has more milk. And so I've been using that for several years, which is worked really well for me and so my boyfriend found this espresso maker and I'm gonna have to put pictures up right here. Because this is what it looks like sitting on my counter and it makes a single shot, double shot, cappuccinos, regular espresso, lattes, americanos, and then you can do a manual setting. And that little milk frother, which doesn't have any milk in it right now because it's all clean, that milk frother froths the milk and puts it right into your cup and then does the espresso uh, um, over the top. My boyfriend ate it out of the park with that this year. I love it. I've used it every day since I make my coffees. I work from home and I make my coffees before I sit down to work and then I make coffee throughout the day because I am a coffee fiend. Um, but they have to be decaf because I am sensitive to caffeine now. So now I make decaf, but I just have to have that coffee. I love the rich flavor. That's a nice little haul of stuff that I got for Christmas. I will be doing another video of my New Year's Eve night out look. I bought a new dress on sale, super on sale from H&M, and um, I'm super looking forward to it. It's beautiful, 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 and um, I'm kind of looking forward to being out on the town for New Year's Eve just a little bit with my boyfriend. Christmas this year. So just a lot of fun this year with Christmas and I hope that you guys had an absolutely wonderfully blessed Christmas as well. And let me know in the comments what was your favorite gift this year that you got 
or that you got for someone else. <laughs> <laughs>